lengthen your spine, enjoy the moment here, feel your body connecting to the mat through your sitting bones. You can start to form a smile here and feel grateful for what we have today. Inhale and exhale. I'm really grateful for the very fun time together this morning. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral. Pull the body button in, chest open and shoulders down. Let's warm up a little bit before we start the mini workout. So I want you to close your eyes, inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Now feel free to open your legs and bend your knees if it's easier for your spine and to lengthen in your back here. So I want you to really listen to your hips and your back. Now inhale deeply and exhale deeply. I'm going to do a couple more times here with your own breath. And so I wanted to feel like your body connecting to the mat through your sitting bones here. Inhale and exhale. Now make sure you relax your shoulders. Don't lift it up when you inhale and exhale. Just really relax and keep it in the same position. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. And a couple more times here with your own breath. And exhale and slowly open your eyes here. I want you to still keep breathing here and open your arms to the side, palm facing down to the mat. Now I want you to inhale, start to rotate your arms. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Try to increase the range of motion. Try to make a bigger circle here. So keep breathing. In three, two, one and then reverse. Use your whole arms to rotate, not just your wrist. So straighten your wrist and lengthen your spine. Still pull the belly button in to support your lower back. Very good. And slowly bring your arms back to the sides. Now inhale, lean on one side to the side bending. And exhale, come back to the opposite side. And exhale, bring it back to the center. We try to do it for five more times each side here with your own breath. So keep breathing. Four, belly button in. Come back to the other side. Try to lengthen your arms and reach a little bit further. Lengthen your waist, stretch your waist. Keep breathing, very good. Inhale and exhale, open your chest. And last one, reach a little bit further, come back to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center, hands down on your knees, shake your hands, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now bring your head to one side, feel the side of your neck is stretching here, hold it here for three, two and one to the opposite side. Keep breathing, hold it here for three, two and one slowly back to the center. Look down to the mat, feel the back of your neck is stretching. And then look up. As far as you can, don't have to go all the way up. Just listen to your neck here. And down. And lift. And one more deep breath. And lift it up. And slowly bring it back to the center, all right? Now I wanted to start to rotate your head around your neck. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway, and then reverse. And one more deep breath. And reverse. And slowly bring your head back to center. Now I wanted to allow yourself to just slowly engage your core, lengthen your spine, and then hands on your knees. Articulate your spine, cat and cone in sitting position. And then around your spine, chin, your chest, pull the belly button in. We're going to try to do it for five more times with your own breath. Exhale, round. And inhale. Pull the belly button in, shoulders far away from your ears. Now last one. And around your spine. 
and slowly bring it back to the center. All right. Now I wanted to allow yourself to bring your hands behind your head and now slowly rotate your torso to one side. Lengthen your arms. Come back to the opposite side. Try to lengthen your arms as far as you can. So keep breathing. You're gonna to try to do it for three more times each side here with your own breath. To the left. Come back to the right and back to the center. And last one. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And slowly bring it back to the center, hands down. Shake your heels, inhale, delete your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now bring your arms towards the front, palms facing towards each other. And I'm going to say open your arm to the side and then come back. I'm going to try to do it for 10 times with your own breath. So make sure you stabilize your torso here, lengthen your spine, and only your arms are moving. Keep breathing, lengthen, come back, open your shoulder as far as you can, and then bring it back towards the front. You're going to warm up your whole shoulders here, your arms and your torso. Lengthen your spine and last one. And slowly bring it back, lift it up and down for six, five. Keep breathing, four, belly button in, three, lengthen your neck, keep looking towards the front. And last one is slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And reverse. And now slowly open your leg as wide as you can to stretch a little bit. So you can dorsiflex flex with your feet or you can plantar flex with your feet. Just really lean on one side, feel your hamstring are stretching. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Come back to the opposite side. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring it back to the center. Walk your hands towards the front, feel your hips are stretching. And you can soften your knees a little bit if it's easier for you. Pull the belly button slightly in to make sure you support your lower back. Hold it here for three, two, and we'll slowly walk back. Very good. Now I wanted to allow yourself to just sit along the mat. Thank you, Bur. Open your legs if it's a part dorsiflex with your feet. It's very sleepy now because it's kind of like early in the morning. So dorsiflex with your feet. Open your arm to the side. And I wanted to inhale, round your spine, flex forward. And then open back to the center, lengthen your spine. Now try to do it for five more times with your own breath. So exhale, reach and inhale, come back, pull the belly button in. Four, you can soften your knees a little bit if you need to. Three, keep breathing and come back. Two. And last one, and slowly bring it back to the center, hands down, shake your hips, and deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and now I wanted to slowly bring your arm to the side one more time. Now this time, toe, rotate the torso to one side, flex to the opposite ankle, and we do the saw, and then come back to the other side. Really pull the belly button in here, go as far as you can, and come back. Reach a little bit further, but really listen to your body. Feel free to bend your knees and just slightly flex forward. It is easier for your back. So again, inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the opposite side and back to the center. Two more times with your own breath to the opposite side. And last one, exhale, reach. Inhale to the other side and slowly bring it back. Now dorsi flex with your feet here or you can just press your heels down to the mat and I wanted to rolling down to the mat and then rolling up again so make sure that you go to the beginning of the mat so when we roll down your whole body is still in within the mat. Now from here bring your arms towards the front, round your spine, chin your chest, pull the belly button in, each vertebra at a time down to the mat and hands over your head. And now come back, inhale and exhale, use your core to roll up, sit tall, flex forward and then back to the center. I'm going to try to do it for five more times with your own breath. So press your heels down, press your whole legs down, arms towards the front again, round your spine, pull the belly button in, hands over your head and inhale, exhale, chin to chest, keep breathing and flex forward and back to the center, shoulders down. For a couple more times still, again engage your car here, inhale and exhale. Really use your core, try not to lift your legs up. And you can slightly bend your knees if it's easier for you. And hands over your head two more times, inhale. Exhale, 
try to use the core to roll your body back, not your shoulders or your chest here. Just really engage your core, chin to chest to protect your neck. And then last one, inhale. Slowly up, flex forward, come back around your spine. Each vertebra at a time, and then just lay down here. Bend your knees, open your legs if you're apart. Shut your hips in here deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now arms along your body, lift your legs up to 90 degrees here. Bring your heels a little bit down so your lower legs parallel to the ground. You're gonna start to do engage your core and lengthen one leg towards the front and then come back to the opposite side and back to the center. 10 times with your own breath. So inhale and exhale. And nine, if you want to make it more challenge, bring both legs towards the front, plant up, flex with your feet, but really engage your core. And Listen to your knees and your ankle here. You can actually keep your feet where you feel comfortable. It's the most important thing here. We want to work your core, your hips here. So keep breathing, inhale, lengthen, exhale, come back, pull the belly button in, keep your back in neutral, don't arch your back. And try not to press your lower back all the way down to the mat. Just keep your back in neutral and really engage your core and do what you feel comfortable but also challenging with your back. So keep breathing. And five, shoulder blades down for more support. Four, keep breathing. Three, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back. Two, and last one, lengthen. And slowly bring it back, bring your legs down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to lengthen one leg up. Plant up, flex with your feet, or you can dorsiflex flex with your feet, or just release if it feel better for your knees here. And lengthen the opposite leg as well. I want to activate your feet, squeeze your thighs, open your leg to the side, and come back, bring one leg down to the opposite side, and lift open 10 times with your own breath. So press your whole arms, shoulder blades down for more support with your torso. Stabilize your torso here, only your leg moving, and your hips stabilize, press your hip bones down to the mat, it to the other side. Open, come back, seven, inhale, and exhale. And six, pull the belly button in, really engage your core, you can soften your knees if it's easier for you. And five more times, you with your own breath, to the other side, four, belly button in, Engage your core as much as possible. Open, come back. Three, keep breathing. Pull the belly button in. If you soften your knees, make sure that you keep the same angle. Two, open and down to the other side. And last one, open, come back. Leg down to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. Hug your knees to your chest, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, rotate your ankle, and then reverse. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I'm going to allow yourself to open your legs again, press your feet down, arms along your body. Now I want you to reach your hands towards the heels and tuck your tailbone forward. Press your lower back down to the mat, pull the belly button in, and then slowly draw your hips all the way up so you feel like you your butt is squeezing here and try to go as far as you can. Your booty muscles are really working. Now inhale and exhale, slowly bring it down. And you try to do it for 10 times with your own breath. So inhale and exhale. And nine, keep breathing, press your whole feet down. Four belly button in, try to reach a little bit higher, keep your hips stabilized and balance. Eight and seven. Six, keep breathing, reach a little bit further. And five, inhale, shoulder blades down. Four. Three, squeeze your booty muscles, keep the same distance between your knees all the time. Two. And last one, lift and hold it here. Squeeze your booty muscles, reach your hands towards your heels one more time, press your whole shoulder blades down to the mat. Now I want you to engage your core, open your knees wider and then bring it back towards the center. Imagining like we have a ball between your thighs, just squeeze into the ball and then release. I'm gonna to try to do it for seven more times with your own breath. 
six keep breathing and five four belly button in three and two and last one and slowly draw your hips down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want you to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again open your arm to the side activate your feet now i want you to slowly bring your legs down to the mat and then bring it back now keep the same angle on your knees again 10 times with your own breath and make sure you keep your back in neutral position here nine if you feel like you want to make something easier just bring each leg down at a time or you don't have to bring both feet down all the way to the mat just halfway until you feel your back is still in neutral position and then come back now try to do it for seven more times take with your own breath six inhale and exhale come back and five pull the belly button in four inhale and exhale and three more times sit with your own breath keep breathing two and last one down and slowly lift up and slowly bring your legs down show your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling here palms facing towards each other I want to inhale and exhale slowly chin to chest and lift your chest up use your shoulders your chest to lift the movement not your neck one feet distant from your chin to your chest and then slowly make a palms like three two one and then torso down hands up ten times to get your own breath so you can always use your hand to support your neck if you need to and just try to engage your core and use your core to lift your torso up let's do it together inhale and exhale reach and slowly bring it back and nine keep breathing three two one pump and down eight reach pull the belly button in come back seven come back six inhale and exhale and back to the center five slowly and control with your breath four try to reach your torso a little bit higher three use your whole arms to pump press your lower back down when you lift the torso up and last one and slowly bring your torso down shake your hips and hold deeply to your nose very good and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now lift use your hand to support your head open your elbows wider put your shoulders far away from your ears and i wanted to allow yourself to lift your heels up plant up flex with your feet lift one leg up and down to the opposite side so the most challenging thing here is we will have to keep your hips down to the mat and stabilize it when moving your legs i wanted to do it try to go further and try to do a little bit quicker like we running here on the air so keep breathing inhale and exhale open your elbows wider leave your chest higher to feel the six back abs and try to do it for 10 keep breathing nine pull the belly button in eight seven keep the same angle on your knee six and five use your whole legs to move so you're gonna feel your hips working your core is engaging here seven six and five elbows wider shoulders down three press your lower back down two and last one down and slowly bring it back hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready open your arms to the side lengthen your leg up one more time now inhale and now slowly plant up flex with your feet pull your toes all the way up as far as you can now soften your knees and then lengthen and soften and lengthen you can probably feel like your legs are a little bit shaking when you lengthen it up and down like this so it's just like stretching and keep breathing for five more times here four belly button in stabilize your torso three you don't have to go so far listen but then try to go as far as you can two and last one and slowly bring it back hug your knees to your chest again bring your legs from left to right and i wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees here uh, lift your head up arms along your body move your knees further away from your hips so you're gonna feel your core your lower abs are working here and try to start to pumping your arms we do the hundred 
and more challenging lengthen your legs here so inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale and exhale for five four three press your lower back down use your whole arms to pump lower your legs even if you can keep your back stick down to the mat or you can always bend your knees if it's easier for you so listen to your body you can even make it easier by put your whole legs down to the mat lift your chest even higher one feet distance from your chin to your chest to make sure that your six pack abs are working and your neck is protecting so keep breathing for three two and last one and slowly bring it down hug your knees to your chest very good all right now you want to inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to just bring your head from left to right slowly with your own speed and back to the center look all the way up over your head and then bring it back chin to chest stretch with your neck a little bit before we continue the next workout now i wanted to open your arms to the side press your whole arms down to the mat for more support lift your legs up to 90 degrees here stick your knees and your heels towards each other activate your feet start to bring both legs to one side and then come back to the opposite side make sure that you press your opposite shoulders down to the mat and then try to do it for 10 more times with your own breath so try to move your knees further away from your hips if you want to have more challenge with your lower back your lower abs i mean so keep breathing belly button in to support your lower back and belly button all the way towards the spine so engage your core keep breathing we're gonna try to do it for four more times to each side press your shoulder blades down press your whole arms down keep breathing here four i mean three all right and two more times to so do it slowly don't have to go so far really listen to your back here always try to move your knees further away from your hips so you can feel your abs are working and rotating your oblique is working and we're going to create a beautiful v-line waist here all right now last one inhale and exhale to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center and legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to keep your arms along your body here press your whole shoulder blades down now lift your leg up one leg up to the ceiling lengthen one leg towards the front you can always use your hand to hug your leg your thighs here or lie all the way down towards the ankle and then switch to the opposite side we're going to do a single leg straight so i'm going to try to do it for 10 times each side here to four more challenge just keep your head up press your lower back down and one fist distance from your chin to your chest use your hand to pull your leg towards the chest more but really listen to your body we're going to try to do it for five more times each side press your hip bones down really stabilize your hips here you can always use your hand to support your neck if it's easier for your neck so listen to your body chest even higher and stabilize your hips here beautiful two to the right to the left last one to the other side and slowly bring it back hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth very good and i wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again dorsi flex with your feet arms along your body and lengthen both legs towards the front and then come back i'm going to try to do it for 10 times take with your own breath now if you want to make it more challenge just i wanted to lower your legs here lengthen as far as you can and bring it back make sure you keep your back in neutral really stabilize your hips here pull the belly button in let's do it for 10 come back and nine Press your shoulder blades down, eight, inhale, and exhale, seven, come back, six, belly button in, and five more times here. Yeah. Go a little bit further, try to lengthen your legs as far as you can, three, two, and last one, 
and slowly just hold it here and try to hold 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 a little bit more to feel your abs are working you can actually just move your legs here even just to feel more challenging here hold it for three two almost done guys try a little bit more this is the last day of the challenge so i wanted to try your best and last one hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth you guys are amazing all right now let's just lean on one side to the psychic series this is my favorite part of the workout all right so hands support your head now bring both legs towards the front of the mat a little bit so you can have more balance with your hips dorsiflex with your feet or plantar flex with your feet is really up to you as long as you activate the feet here now engage your core shoulders far away from your ears pull the belly button in lift your top leg up as high as you can press your bottom leg down to the mat and slowly bring it back so we're going to try to do it as slow as you can because the slower we do, the more challenging it is. You can always bend your bottom knee if it's easier for you. So listen to your body and find out what you feel comfortable and challenging at the same time. Nine, pull the belly button in. I'm gonna do the more challenging version. Eight, and seven, try to do it slowly and squeeze in the thighs when you bring your leg down to the mat. Six, stabilize your hips, not forward, not backward, just hip on hip. Five, Keep breathing, go a little bit slower. Four, belly button in, squeeze in the thighs. Three, reach your leg all the way towards the front like someone pulling your leg. Two, now last one, inhale up, exhale down, and now move to the next movement. I want you to leave your leg just about the hips here and bend your knees to 90 degrees, your top leg. I want you to engage your core, move your knee towards the front, keep the same angle on your knee, and then all the way towards the back without changing or stabilize uh, or fluctuate your hips here you can always make it easier by bending your bottom knee here so inhale and exhale move backward engage your core as much as possible squeezing the thighs for 10 9 keep breathing i'm going to try to lengthen i really want to challenge myself today because that's the last day of the challenge it i mean we're still working out tomorrow but it's kind of feel like we complete something to beginning to start the new beginning so try our best very good keep breathing and three more times the inhale and exhale two and last one and move backward and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now for the next movement i wanted to move your top leg towards the front your bottom leg towards the back as far as you can or just keep it in the same position for make it to make it easier now activate your feet here and really engage your core you can always rest your head on your arm and press both palms down to the mat for more support engage your core here lift your leg up and exhale bring it down actually find that engage your core and soften your knees will be a little bit easier but then you can always lengthen to make it easy uh, to make it more challenging. So 10, 9, 8, stretch into your ankle, 7, engage your core as much as possible. Don't have to lift so high. Listen to your body. And 5, 4, belly button in, 3, keep breathing. Try to stretch your ankle here. Use your whole leg to move. And last one. And slowly bring it down beautiful that's amazing all right now the last movement for the psychic series i wanted to bend your knee to 90 degree and the top leg top leg just lengthen here inhale and exhale slowly bend to 90 degree open as high as you can and down and lengthen 10 times with your own breath so inhale open and come back and lengthen nine pull the belly button in squeeze your thighs it Try to reach a little bit further when you lengthen your leg. Try to always keep it just about the hip. Seven, squeeze in the thighs. Do it slowly with your spit. So to make it more challenging. Shoulders far away from your ears. Six. Beautiful. And five. Four, belly button in. Very good, guys. And three. Two. And last one, bend, open, come back, 
and lengthen and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips a little bit use your hand to look a little bit massage again and we're gonna move to the other side to do psychic series on the other side so hands support your head and now hands in front of your chest shoulders far away from your ears again bring your legs towards the front make sure you don't fluctuate your hips just stabilize your hips here plant up flex with your feet engage your core Press your lower leg down, lift your leg, top leg as high as you can and bring it back. 10 times, squeeze your own breath and do it really slowly. Squeeze your thighs, 9. Come back, 8, inhale. And exhale, 7. Don't hold your breath. Really engage your core, 6. Shoulders down towards the hips, 5. And 4 more times, so inhale. And exhale, 3. Keep breathing. And two more times, so inhale, up and exhale down. And last one, and slowly bring it back, all right? Now the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to lift your top leg up, bend your knee to 90 degree, keep your leg just above the mat, and bring it towards the front, and then come back. You can always rest your head on your arm if it's easier for you. Press your whole palms down to the mat, press your hips down, engage your core, and stabilize your hips here. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, inhale, and exhale, six, always keep your leg parallel to the ground, and five, four, belly button in, three, keep breathing, and two more times, stick with your own breath, now last one, inhale, and exhale, and slowly bring it back to the center, all right? Now for the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to lift your leg up and move your top leg towards the front. Now really engage your core and bend your knees, your bottom knee if it's easier for you. So listen to your body. Inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale, bring it down just to the mat and as high as you can again. 10, activate your feet. Nine, squeeze your thighs, stabilize your hips here, only your leg is moving. Eight. Don't hold your breath, inhale, seven, exhale down, six, press your palms down for more support, shoulders far away from your ears, five, and four, belly button in, really engage your core, almost done guys, you guys are amazing, three, very good, and two, lift, and down, and last one, lift, and slowly bring it down, bend your knees here, shake your hips and you deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now for the next movement, just bend your bottom knee and your top leg, just lengthen, plant up flex. And now bend, lift it as high as you can, come back just above the hips again and lengthen 10 times here with your own breath. So open up and down and nine, keep breathing. Pull the belly button in, squeeze the thigh to bring it back to the center. Eight, open and then come back, and seven, open, and down, and lengthen, six, keep breathing, pull the belly button all the way in, five, four, inhale, open, exhale, bring it back, and three more times, stick with your own breath, two, bend, open, come back, and lengthen, and last one, Go a little bit further if you can and slowly bring it back to the center. Beautiful. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and now lie all the way down on your back. So hands towards the next to the chest, close your elbows and lengthen your spine here. Inhale, lift your torso up. Exhale, bring it down. We're going to try to do it for 10 times. Look at your own breath. Make sure you open your legs here with the pack. Press your hip bones down to the mat and don't have to lift so high. Really listen to your lower back here. We only go to the point that you feel comfortable with your back. For four, six and five, four, belly button in, three, keep breathing. Really use your core to lift it up. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and the last one and slowly bring it down. All right now. Hands over your head. Slide back to make sure your shoulders are far away from your ears and look down to the mat. Lift your legs up. Plant up flex with your feet. Open your legs to the side and then come back for 10. Keep breathing. 9, 
it, you can always reach your head down on your arm, your hands, if it's easier for your back. Five. Four, squeezing your thighs. Three, lengthen your legs. Two. Now, last one, open and come back down. All right, now a little bit more um, challenge and a little bit more fast paced here. But lift your legs up and start to pump and beat your heels towards each other. So start to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one, slowly bring your hips down. Shake your heels, bend your knees here, activate your feet and keep your heels, your knees your toes towards each other now shoulders far away from your ears now if you are beginner lift each leg up at a time and to the opposite side if you want more challenge lift both legs up at a time and make sure you rest your head down listen to your lower back here squeeze your body muscles you can always make it even more challenged by lift both arms and legs up at the same time i'm going to try to do it for eight more times here seven Six, keep breathing, shoulders far away from your ears. Five, all the way, keep lengthening your neck, look down to the mat. Four, three, two, and last one, lift and down. Shake your hips, and inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now for the next movement, just lengthen your legs, plant up, flex with your feet here, arms along your body, palms facing up to the sky. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. Try to reach your hands towards the heels here. Open your legs, see it apart. I want to inhale, look down to the mat. Now engage your core, lift your arms up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep breathing, 5, 4. Pull the belly button in to support your lower back. Lower your torso if it's easier for your back here. 2, and last one. And now bring your arm towards the front. Engage your core and slide back to keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Now, keep lifting your arms up and down again. Again, always lower your torso if it's easier for your lower back, but make sure you pull the belly button in and engage your core here for five, four, three, two, and last one, slowly bring it down. Shake your hips in here, deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now I want to allow yourself to just lift your legs up, lift your arms up, and start to make a little pose like we're swimming. So 10, stabilize your hips. Nine, press your hip bones down. Stabilize your torso, only your arms and legs are pumping here. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly bring it down. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. And now open your knees wider and you can lift your heels up but try to bring your heels as low as you can just really listen to your body you know do a little bit stretching before the, we complete the workout today so hold it here keep your feet together you can even reach your hands all the way towards the front reach a little bit higher inhale and exhale and a couple more times with your own breath Reach your hands a little bit further. And three, two, and one. Slowly bring your arms back and lengthen your legs. Bring one knee up. Try to hug your knee to your chest as far as you can. Really listen to your body here. And open your arms up as far as you can. Hold it here for three. Reach your hands a little bit further too, like someone pulling your arm away from your shoulder. And one, slowly bring it down. Very good. And then slowly lengthen your leg to the opposite side. And again, lift your arms up. Reach a little bit further. Let someone pull your hands away from your shoulders. <laughs> okay. Now slowly bring it back to the center. I wanted to allow yourself to lift your arms all the way up again. I mean, towards the front of your mat. Slide back, so back your shoulders far away from your ears and really pull the belly button in. Again, don't have to go so far. Now from here, put your shoulders far away from your ears. Look towards the top of the mat. And now if you feel comfortable with your neck, just start to look towards the front and all the way up as far as you can. Listen to your body. And chin to chest each vertebra at a time. Still keep your arms there. And then look up slowly and down 
and slowly bring it back to the center. Put your whole hands down, shake your hips. You know, deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. Now, if you can do this, you just bend your knees and try to hug your hands with your ankle here. Lift your whole torso up, hold it here. Pull the belly button in. If you want to make it easier, rest your arm down, and now slowly just move your heels towards the hips, and feel your quad are stretching. Try to bring your legs a little bit further, each leg at a time, if it's easier for you. Otherwise, just really put it down. Move your heels towards the hips. You can even rotate your ankle here and then reverse. Or if you lift it up, rotate and reverse and slowly bring it down. Come to try pose. Open your knees wider. Lengthen your arms and do it really slowly so you can control the movement of your body and you can feel good about that so keep breathing work your hands to one side feel your waist is stretching for five four three two and one to the opposite side hold it here for five four three two one and back to the center and start to sit along the mat so lengthen your Legs, dorsi flex with your feet and flex forward so you're gonna feel the back of your leg, your hamstring and the back of your knee is stretching here. So don't have to go so far really. Listen to your body, slightly flex forward and soften your knees and then slowly bring your knees down as far as you can. So again, listen to your body. You can even bring your arms towards the front to go a little bit further and then come back, shoulders down. I'm gonna try to do it for five more times. So reach forward and then come back for belly button in, shoulders down, three and two, when you bring it back, lengthen and sit tall, now last one, and slowly bring it down, shake your hips in here, deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, alright, and now I'm going to allow yourself to just bend one knee, and lengthen your opposite leg towards the back, hold it here, stretch your hips for three, two, Reach your hands a little bit further if you can really listen to your body here. Or you can always bend your back leg if you feel it's easier. And slowly come back to the opposite side. So bend your knee, lengthen to the other side. And again, hold it here for a couple more seconds. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Slowly bring it back to the center. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to open your legs as wide as you can. You can always start with a narrow angle here. Now slowly inhale, lean on one side, bring your hand over your head. Hold it here for a couple more times. You don't have to go so far again, just listen to your body, go as far as you can. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the opposite side, hands over your head. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back to the center. Walk your hands towards the front and look towards the front. Feel your hips are stretching. Go as far as you can, but listen to your lower back again. Soften your knees if you need to for three, two, and one. Come back. Keep your feet together. Make a little pull so with your knees. Lengthen your spine. Sit on a pillow if you need to for three, two, and one now, bend your knees here, bring your hands over the opposite thigh, rotate the torso and twist. Feel your oblique twisting, for hold, hold it here for three, two, and one to the opposite side. Hold it here for three, two, and one, come back to the center. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to put your hands on your thighs, articulate your spine, get in a sitting position, and for uh, you who has a little bit tight hips and you prefer to just come to own for position to do cat and cow is you're welcome to do that so pull the belly button in and round your spine here each vertebra at a time try to do it for three more times inhale and exhale round your spine two slowly with your own speed really listen to your body and the last one hold it here for three two and one right your spine hold it here for three two and one slowly bring it back and sit again so now from here you can always bend your knees here now open your legs your arms to the side palms facing down lean on one side to do side bending come back to the other side 
and back to the center. I'm going to try to do it for five more times here with your own breath. Keep breathing and four, inhale and exhale to the other side. Three, to the opposite side and two more times with your own breath. Go a little bit further, lengthen your waist, lengthen your arm. Now last one, to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center. Rotate the shoulders fully to far directions and then reverse. Again. And reverse, keep breathing. Now lengthen your spine, you can close your eyes here. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Couple more times with your own breath. And exhale. And slowly just lengthen your spine. Enjoy the moment here, feel your body connecting to the mat through your sitting bones. You can start to form a smile here and feel grateful for what we have today. Inhale and exhale. I'm really grateful for the very fun time together this morning. Inhale and exhale. Relax your shoulders and last deep breath. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. And I wanted to interlace your fingers and bring your arms towards one side. Feel your shoulders a little bit stretched here and to the opposite side. And back to the center one more time. To the opposite side. And back to the center. Reach your hands all the way to the front. And come back. In three, two, and last one. And now lift it up. Reach and down. Three, two, and last one. Slowly bring it down. Rotate your shoulders and reverse again. Inhale one more time. And exhale, bring your head to one side, to the opposite side, slowly with your own speed. One more deep breath, and back to the center one more, and slowly come back, look down to the mat, and up, and down, and lift. Don't have to go so far, and keep lengthening your spine. Back to the center, start to rotate your head around your neck. And two more rounds here. Slowly. And reverse. Slowly here with your own breath. And slowly bring it back to the center. Inhale, one more deep breath. And exhale. And that's the workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the bell to see notification every day when I upload new video. And I um, assume that you have at least 30 days with me because this is the last day for the challenge. But I'm so excited to complete another workout with you for another day. I really hope you're going to stick to the channel and let's keep moving, keep staying healthy together. And I'll see you tomorrow for probably a vlog. See you, bye bye. <laughs>